What is up YouTube? We're Underleveled. My name is Taka and today I'll be unboxing, testing, and doing an in-depth review on the RGB gamepad wireless controller from Nixie Gaming. I'll be going over everything you'll want to know about these Joy-Cons. There's a lot to go over, so let's get right into it. So Kat and I, we love comfort grip Joy-Cons. We use them every single time we play handheld. So when Nixie Gaming reached out to us and was like, hey, heard you're a Nintendo channel. Do you want to test out our RGB joypad for the Nintendo Switch? You bet we do. So here they are straight from Nixie Gaming, but I'm really excited. So let's open it up and let's check it out. All right, so here's the box. I like the graphics, very eye-catching. I like that it comes with this middle adapter so you can use it as a wireless controller, which means you can charge these Joy-Cons. Unlike a lot of other Comfort Grip Joy-Cons that run off your Switch battery. That's always nice. Also, has nice RGB lighting effects, palette breathing and rable breathing, nice, and has vibration. That's always a nice thing to see. So, comes with the two joy pads for the Switch, the frame, which I'm guessing is this, USB charging cable, and user manual. Nice. Goes over some stuff, takes about 2.5 to 3 hours to charge, which is pretty fast actually. That's about it. Let's open it up. Ooh, nice. I didn't know what color they're gonna send me, so I actually like the white. The white is nice. So you got charging cable, which is, it is USB type C. Love that. Everything is switching over to USB type C. I hate finding a micro USB cable. I can never find one. So this is the frame, user manual, and oh, it has rear mappable buttons. Come on, oh, come on. Oh, that's nice. That feels nice. The buttons feel really good too. And it has turbo. I'm already in love. This, oh, they feel good. I love this, this texture in the back. It gives it extra grip. It feels really nice. I like that. That tactile response, that clickiness is really nice. Buttons are nice. The D-pad is good. Not spongy, not squishy. The buttons are nice. Nice feel to them. Bumpers, triggers. About the same travel as a pro controller. Nice. And yeah, there you go. Both Joy Cons are chargeable USB Type C. Okay, so right off the bat, I love the weight of these Joy Cons. They're light, yet they have a really quality, well built feel to them. I was kind of worried that the added RGB features would add a lot of unwanted weight, but that's not the case at all. These are extremely lightweight, and I don't see these being a problem when holding them for hours when you play those really long gaming sessions. Like I mentioned earlier, these do have turbo buttons on each Joy-Con, as well as rear mappable buttons. They also have rumble in them, so even if you don't use any of these features, the fact that they put them in these, I mean, come on, that's, that's just crazy. I'm real excited to test these out. Now, another thing I noticed on the back is that the bottom is flat, it's not rounded. And I'm guessing it's for when you play handheld and you kind of rest your switch on the table. Kind of gives you that extra stability, that extra sturdiness. At least that's what I'm guessing it's for. If it is, that's actually a really nice touch. It's just those really small details that just make your gaming experience just that much more enjoyable. Now, what I really like about these is that you can use them however you want. And they really had that in mind. If you're playing with another person, you can use these as like a second player, or you can use included frame and use these while playing docked as a wireless controller. Or if you're playing a lot of handheld, you can just use them as Joy-Con replacements to make handheld playing a lot more comfortable. These are just really versatile and they really thought of everyone's style of play when making these Joy-Cons. 
All right, now let's go over one of the features that really set it apart from other Comfort Grip Joy-Cons, and that's the RGB lighting effect around the two thumbsticks. Now, they're really easy to set, but what's even cooler is that you can set them independently, so you can have different colors or patterns on each Joy-Con. So cool. Setting the RGB lighting effects is extremely easy. All you have to do is press and hold the turbo button on the back of the Joy-Con that you wanna change the color of, hold it down, and simply press on the thumbstick. It'll then cycle through eight different color options. Now, once you pick the color you want, you can also change it to a breathing lighting effect by holding the turbo button and double pressing on the thumbstick. And it'll slowly cycle through all the colors in this slow breathing effect. For the next week, I am only gonna be using these Joy-Cons to play and test different scenarios to see what these are capable of and how well they hold up. So I'll see you in one week to go over my test results as well as my thoughts. All right, so it's been a little over a week now using only these Joy-Cons. And I have to say my overall experience with these were excellent. Like I know there's no such thing as a perfect controller, but honestly, these come pretty darn close. So let's get into the review section of this video because we do have a lot to talk about. All right, so first I wanna talk about how comfortable these are to hold compared to the ones that came with your Switch. It's like night and day. Now the ergonomic shape of these, it just feels natural while holding it in your hands, still allowing you to press all of the buttons effortlessly. Now, speaking of buttons, the two rear mappable buttons on the back, they're just a really nice touch. It just makes navigating and controlling your character just that much easier. You can kind of think of it like you're holding bags of groceries and you just wish you had a third hand to open the door for you. Well, these rear mappable buttons, they're like that extra helping hand. It's just, it's just really nice that they included it on these Joy-Cons. But now let's talk about what's inside of these Joy-Cons. There's quite a lot going on inside here. Inside of this, it also has rumble, and it's nice because you can actually adjust the vibration intensity depending on your taste and play style. Now there's four modes you can pick from, whether you want no rumble, 30% rumble, 70% rumble, or 100% rumble. Now, these also have a six axis gyroscope on the inside, which they were really smooth, really responsive, and it was just perfect for those motion controlled enabled games. The RGB lighting effects, they're stunning. And the customization allows you to really mix and match a variety of different colors and patterns to really match your mood or preference. Now, in each of these Joy-Cons is a 500 milliamp rechargeable battery, rechargeable with the included USB Type-C cable. Now, I actually got quite a bit of battery life out of these Joy-Cons, around six to eight hours worth of play while using it as a wireless controller. Another thing that's great about these is that you can still dock your Switch with these on. One thing to mention is that these don't have an NFC reader, which means you won't be able to scan in Amiibos with them. But for me personally, I very rarely scan Amiibos, so it was never a problem. But if you are someone that scans in Amiibos often, then it is something to keep in mind. But honestly, that's the only thing these Joy-Cons don't have. Besides being immensely more comfortable than standard Joy-Cons, as well as having a turbo and rear mappable buttons with the RGB, it just completely outshines the lack of an NFC reader. And for the price, these are easily the best comfort grip Joy-Cons I have used so far, and that's why I would recommend them to anyone. These are cheaper than many comfort grip Joy-Cons out there, but on top of that, Nixie Gaming gave us a code that will give you all 10% off these RGB wireless joy pads. The details will be in the description down below, so go check them out. But that's pretty much everything to know about these RGB wireless joy pads from Nixie Gaming. But if you have any questions, then feel free to leave them in the comments down below and we'll try our best to answer all of them. But I hope you found this unboxing and reviewing video helpful. If you did, then don't forget to hit that like button as well as subscribe and turning on the bell for notifications for more Nintendo Switch accessory reviews. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.